April. If you need a private reading, click that description box below and it'll take you right to my website where you can book your reading. All right, these cards have been pre-shuffled, so we're gonna get right to it. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe the video, you guys. I really do appreciate it. All right, here we go. Cancer, here we go. How does this person, so anybody that you're thinking about, your loved one, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your dog, your cat, just whomever. Okay, so the first position we're gonna take a look at here for you guys is, what is this person's story or what are they telling you? We have the temperance in reverse. What's on their mind or what's in their thoughts when it comes to you, Cancer? The Ten of Wands. How does this person feel in their emotions right now for you, Cancer? The Six of Cups. Oh. How are they walking their talk? So how are they acting right now in their everyday world? The Eight of Cups in reverse. How do you feel about this person, Cancer? Seven of Cups. And how will this person be acting towards you over the month of April, Cancer? Ooh, the Seven of Swords. Mmm. Sneaky, sneaky. All right, let's take a big fat look and see what's up. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups. Six Pentacles. The Star, Sign of Aquarius. Somebody's having some wish of fulfillment. They might be a little bit arrogant, too. I'm just saying... All right, so here we go. So this person right now, what they're telling you or what their story is right now is temperance in reverse. Could be a Sagittarius Cancer, a big fat Sag with temperance. If not, they're just in some sense right now. What they're telling you or how they're acting is they're not willing to compromise in some way or to balance out a situation. It's like a lack of cooperation or compromise. Or there's an imbalance, okay? This person's either batshit crazy, sorry, cross watchers, or they're just not willing to compromise with you in some way, reconcile, temper the emotions, temper the water with the fire, all right? And on their, and it's because on their mind is the Ten of Wands. There's some burdens here, okay? So more fire energy, but with the Ten of Wands on this person's mind, Cancer, they're carrying a big fat load, okay? They feel very overburdened. They could just be very busy. There's a lot on their mind here. The situation is causing some worry. Sometimes that Ten of Wands can even be guilt, okay? But in their emotions, we have the Six of Cups. So I always feel, I always think of the Six of Cups as the Cancer card, but of course it's water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but it's that emotion, right? In their emotions, they have that very sweet, nurturing feeling. It's like they're having fond memories or they think back to the past where things were nice with you, Cancer. But what they're telling you is something different. There's something they can't compromise that's causing a lot of worry. How are they acting right now? Or how are they walking that talk? We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. Some of them have already returned to you or will return to you. Doesn't mean you guys are going to be cutting a wedding cake anytime soon. It just could possibly mean that you get a message, they reach out at some point, something like that. We'll clarify. But also the Eight of Cups could just be, because remember, Cups are their emotions. So how they're walking around or acting right now in their, in their everyday environment is they haven't been able to completely shut out the emotion, okay? For some of you, they have returned. But you guys, there's something here that's just, I sounded so red. I was like, there's something here. Something is going on that's causing some burdens. Now, how do you feel about them, the Seven of Cups? I feel like you guys are confused. A lot of cups, which makes sense. You're Cancer. But Seven of Cups is confusion or fantasy. You might even be dreaming about this person. You guys, I had a dream about my neighbor last night, and I'm not even attracted to him. It, was, it freaked me the hell out. Anyways, I digress. But that's dream. Like, yeah, you might be dreaming about this person, or they're bringing on a lot of confusion. All right, now how are they going to be acting throughout the month of April? The Seven of Swords, I'm not real crazy about this card, but we'll clarify and see. This could just be avoidance. It, sometimes the Seven of Swords is like somebody that doesn't want to be part of, gr of a group. They're like on their own. You know, they're walking their own path. But also, you know, it could be that they're going to try to get away with something. Or they're just avoiding or they're leaving. It's like a little bit sneaky energy there. But let's clarify before I open my big fat Aries mouth. All right. So Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising throughout the month of April. So whomever Cancer is thinking about or dealing with, what's going on with this person? Let's move y'all back just a smidge. God, I hope this whole thing doesn't fall. That'd be awful. 
All right, so Cancer. So this person, what is their deal right now? Or what are they telling you? What's on their mind? How do they feel about you and their emotions? How are they walking around right now? How do you feel about this person, Cancer? And how will this person be acting? What's going to be their energy towards you over the month of April? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the person that they're dealing with. All right, as always, this deck was shuffled as well, Cancer. Let's cut her and do her. All right, so right now, what this person's telling you or what their current deal is, is this um, temperance in reverse. It could be a Sagittarius, but there's a lack of cooperation, I feel here. Why is this uh, temperance in reverse right now for Cancer's person? Show us and show us now. Do it. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, could be an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This person might just be really concentrated on work. I don't really feel like this is a third party. Let's clarify it one more time. It could be, right? But I just, mm, we'll see. What's this Queen of Pentacles? Why is this Queen of Pentacles here for this person's current energy or what they're telling Cancer? What's the Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, the Nine of Swords in reverse. They're trying to get over. They're healing. So they might just be more concentrating on work right now. So they're not really coming together right now. That's what they're telling you, that they can't compromise or cooperate in some way. I feel like they're trying to get some stability back in their life with that Queen of Pentacles. They're valuing and nurturing themselves. Again, they could be more concentrated on work. Um, and with the Nine of Swords in reverse, they're just trying to heal and kind of get out of their head, right? Because on their mind or in their thoughts is this Ten of Wands. So a lot of burdens or worry. Um, why is this Ten of Wands on this person's mind? The star in reverse, kind of Aquarius, okay? Something didn't come to fruition. The star in reverse is like hopes, dreams, wishes didn't manifest. Something that they were hoping for. They've kind of lost faith in it, but I feel like it's more something didn't happen here with you guys. And it's carrying a lot of guilt or worry or burdens for them, okay? Because how they feel about you and their emotions is the Six of Cups. I like to call that the Cancer card. What's the Six of Cups? Why is this here? Why does this person feel the Six of Cups for cancer tell us princess of swords so that would be like the page of swords in the rider weight deck libra gemini aquarius energy they may want to have like a very to the point conversation communication also too because there is a strong connection this person might be keeping an eye on you your social media that kind of thing asking people about you hiding in your bushes checking the expiration date on your milk when you're not home, I'm just saying, okay, because how they're walking around right now in their everyday life is this eight of cups in reverse. They've either returned, they want to return, or they just can't quite cut out their emotional tie to you. Like they can't cut it off. Why is this eight of cups in reverse for this person? Yeah, the ace of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. How they're walking around right now is, you know, they want a new beginning, but there's something in the way. There's some type of blockage. So they're, re you know, they want to return. I still don't feel like that this is to this Queen of Pentacles. I just don't. Because I'm concentrating on y'all's energy. Let's let's take one more look at her, though. Who is this? Who's this Missy here showing up? Because it's not Cancer. I want to make sure that it is just like stability and money and that kind of shit. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. More Earth energy. I'm sorry, that's the Prince of Pentacles in reverse. So they're just not making a move right now, Cancer, because their focus is somewhere else. They're trying to get their stability back, and they might be really focused on work. But how they're walking around right now, as far as you go, or your energy, is they haven't completely shut the door on the emotions. And I think for a lot of you, this, guy, this person would want um, a passionate new beginning. They just have a lot of burdens right now. Um, the connection fizzled or something. Now, how you feel about this person, Cancer, is the Seven of Cups. So why does Cancer feel the Seven of Cups? Show us. Queen of Cups in reverse. That's you guys. Okay. Cancer energy. Could be dealing with another water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You guys are confused. And with the Queen of Cups in reverse, it's kind of set you off balance, Cancer. It has. Queen of Cups in reverse hasn't healed from something completely. There's a lot of confusion here about this person. Right. Um, and with the Queen of Cups in reverse, some of you might be mad. I don't really feel that in my feelings here, in my intuition. I feel like this is Cancer more just wanting to regain balance and know what the hell's going on. Okay. Give us one more card on why Cancer is the Queen of Cups in reverse for this person. Yeah, the high reverse. There was a breakup or somebody wasn't willing to take the traditional road energy of Taurus here with the higher fit in reverse. I don't. This could be for some of you, you, how you feel about this person is you don't want a commitment with them. 
because you're not healed from something because they've caused some confusion here. Also, too, you guys just are, you know, healed from a breakup or something with that higher fit in reverse. Somebody that wouldn't give you a commitment. Now, throughout the month of April, this person is going to be the big fat seven of swords. Why is the seven of swords um, in the outcome here for how this person will be acting? What's the seven of swords about for this person? Seven of swords for cancer, the emperor in reverse. Just be careful. I mean, that's kind of shitty energy. I'm not going to lie. The emperor could be an Aries, right? But with the emperor in reverse on top of that seven of swords, this is somebody that has no boundaries, possibly. They're avoiding, they're escaping, they're leaving, or they're not telling you something. Because with the emperor in reverse, you know, there's no stability. Sometimes the emperor in reverse can be a big fat narcissist. I'm just saying, get mad all you want, cross watchers. I'm calling it like I see it, all right? Um, especially on that seven of swords, it's not great energy. Um, I don't know what this person's deal is because <clears throat> they obviously want some type of new beginning, but they're not making a move here. Um, why the emperor in reverse? Also, this person just feels like they have no power or control over the situation. So they just kind of ride off into the sunset with that seven of swords. Um, why is the emperor in reverse here for this person throughout the month of April? Yeah, the four of wands in reverse. Some of you, you're married to this person or you were. Because that the emperor could be a husband, father. Four of Wands is a lack of celebration. Four is all about grounding yourself. It's stability. It's like, you know, holding on to something. It's coming together, celebrations, that kind of thing. But in the reverse, it's a lack of that, okay? So this person's bringing a lack of joy or happiness or something. And I almost feel like they're pissed, Cancer. Why the four of wands and the outcome for this person? Why is why are they going to be doing the four of wands in reverse? Yeah, the two of wands in reverse. A lot of fire energy. A lot of you dealing with fire signs or Aries more specifically. But with the two of wands in reverse, they're just not taking action. It's like they're indecisive. And, and because of that, they can't, they're not going to take action here. Um, I feel like for a great deal of you, maybe you guys ended this and they're just not real happy about it. So they're avoiding the connection and they might just have a big fat temper tantrum with that emperor in reverse. Okay. So they're not happy. They're not bringing stability or, you know, this commitment. They're just not going to take a whole lot of action. They want it. It's in their emotions. Um, maybe you guys broke up with them and that's why the 10 of wands and the star in reverse is on their mind. A lot of burdens of something that just did not manifest for them. So that's what I see for that. Cancer, let's pull you a romance angel card. All right, what do you want Cancer to know? Oh my God, the cards are just flying everywhere. They are Cancer. What fell out? Like, I'm just going to take it. Playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, Cancer. That's what they want you to know because it, well, fell right out of the deck. So get out there, Cancer. I don't know. Get on a rope swing and have some fun, okay, get out there with your friends, do whatever, okay, you need to act like a kid again, get that inner usefulness going. Yeah.